had hoped by this time uh, that uh, you would see some um, basic recovery coming through and uh, we're not yet there. And I think uh, part of that uh, reason has to do that uh, local markets have yet to really uh, be jump-started. Uh, so uh, we, we need to see more cash flowing uh, through uh, the domestic uh, financing system. Afghanistan, as you know, has become used to these sorts of donor conferences, particularly in the past two decades. Often pledges are made, not always kept either. How can you ensure that they are this time? We are asking for 4.4 billion uh, for the humanitarian response plan. Uh, I think this time by also asking for the 3.6 billion on the essential services. Um, I hope that all of um, the attention and the resources that are being drawn away um, into uh, other parts of the world and, and particularly uh, with the Russia-Ukraine uh, conflict going on, that the world does not forget Afghanistan. The current uh, halt uh, on um, girls uh, going to school above uh, grade six, to me, uh, denying education is denying a lifetime of not just opportunity, but of a contribution to a country. The UK and Germany, of course, co-hosting this uh, conference today, uh, they've been clear that uh, aid comes with conditions, and one of those is uh, the progress on human rights and women's rights. Is that going to be a focus for the UN in terms of distribution and, and, and where you're targeting any assistance that comes? For countries, they've got to also uh, be very cognizant of uh, the, the pressures, the demands, the expectations of their taxpayers. And I think here for the UN uh, that's on the ground uh, and working every day, I mean, we've stayed and delivered. Uh, we've not left the country. Uh, part of our role uh, is to, to day by day to keep putting the key issues, uh, the values we, we stand for as a, with the UN Charter on the table. And another major challenge for getting aid into the country has been sanctions on the Taliban. Can those be avoided uh, as far as aid is concerned? Do they have to be avoided? The sanctions are um, vis-a-vis the, the Taliban and, and specific individuals uh, who are in the de facto authorities. Uh, they're not on Afghanistan and they're not on the Afghans. Uh, so it, it does allow uh, money to move into the country where we can work in all of these uh, areas. The conference takes place in New York. The Taliban itself officials are in China uh, meeting with, with Chinese officials there seeking more international recognition. As far as the UN is concerned in the long term, is that necessary? I think from a international community and from a, a UN uh, standpoint, the conversation of recognition of um, um, working uh, and engaging uh, increasingly with the authorities, with the necessary changes that they've got to bring about. Uh, there are obligations uh, that uh, have to be met. Uh, and those are, it's, a, it's going to be, a, as I said, this has to be an everyday uh, conversation to move the needle.